sure does fly when you're having fun, right? So, well, today is our season finale of BNN. For the past 15 episodes, we have seen so many cool and interesting talents from all of you. Heard some funny jokes, and we even heard and got to see what some teachers do at home. Wow. So, today I thought I'd give you a little gift before we go into winter break. Do you want to know what it is? Do you really want to know what it is? Well, it's another episode of BNN! Yeah! So, here is our last episode before winter break. I don't know if we're going to be picked up for a second season, so you will just have to wait and see if the networks likes us. Today, we have so many cool videos for us, another weird science, and of course, a new sign of the week. First up is always some of my favorite things to see. No raindrops on roses or whiskers on kittens. No, not those. Here's Paris, and then we have Chase, and then Evan and Ben showing us their animals. Hi, my name is Paris from Miss Rock's class. This is my pet, Brady. He's eight, and he likes to chase me a lot. And he meows a lot. Well, bye. Hi, my name is Chase, and I'm, and I'm in second grade, and I'm going to show you some of my stuffed animals. So this one's name is Barry. I sleep with him, with him every night because I'm scared of monsters in my closet. And this one's name is Brown Bear. I love him. This one's name is Tandy. And we got him we got got him from Kohl's. And this one this one's name is Peck and we and we got him from the aquarium. Hi, my name is Evan, and I'm from Mrs. Gurgis' class, and this is our pet bearded dragon, Axel. And he's just a little baby. I'm, hi, I'm Ben Paco, and I'm from Mrs. Walk class, and I, um, and he, Axel eats crickets, mealworms, um, vegetables and fruit. Bye, guys. Hope you like meeting Axel. Back to you, Mr. B. So cool. I do love seeing all the different animals that you have at home. Maybe we can convince Mrs. Rody to show us some more of her chickens. What do you think? But I think it's time for a little comedic timing. Get it? Comedic Timing? Oh, fine. Well, let's see what joke Elizabeth has for us today. Hi, my name is Elizabeth, and I am in second grade in Miss and Land grade class, and today I am going to be telling a joke. Why was six afraid of seven? Hmm, I feel like this is a math problem. Use your number bond to make a 10 and then decompose it to get an answer. Does that make sense? Well, let's turn to Mrs. Paladin for our next sign of the week, and we'll hear back from Elizabeth in a little bit. Take it away. Hi, Oakwood Bears. This week, we're going to learn how to sign the word snowman. Let's start with snow. Snow is made like this. Twinkle your hands down from the sky. Snow. And man is made like this. A five hand shape. Thumb touches your forehead and then touches your chest. Man. Let's try that all together. Snow. Man. Good job. Thanks, Mrs. Paladin. Maybe it'll snow over break and we can all try and build a snowman signing the word snowman. Crazy, right? But before that, let's turn back to Elizabeth for the answer to our joke. It was, why is six afraid of seven? 
because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> seven, eight, nine. <laughs> so funny. You are all so great at telling jokes. I'm going to miss this over break. So we have a couple of students that wanted to show off their special skills. So first up is Calvin showing us how to fly. And then we have Bridget with an experiment to try at home. Hello, my name is Caleb Gunzel. I'm gonna teach you how to fly my helicopter. I'm in this lost class and this is the remote. So the remote like this, if it turns, if it turns this way and that way, it means it, it's gonna put, cause it goes straight, backward, sideways, or the other side. And uh, this button, you don't have to you use it while you're flying the helicopter. You press it, the helicopter won't do anything, but if, so make sure don't push this button or put it up because it won't do anything. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Bridget from second grade in Mrs. Langrave's class. And I am going to be doing a STEM experiment. So I have this blank paper and it has a B on it. Is it B for Bridget? And then I'm just going to put it in this tray of water. And then I put it in and it says B N N. And now I'm going to teach you how to do it. So for this experiment, you if you want to try doing it at home, you'll need one um pen and then two paper, blank paper towels. Make sure they're cut out. And make sure that, that they're ripped out fully. And then you can and then you can write a message like what I did was B N N. So I will just do a B. And then on the other piece, I'll make sure that that B does not cover the N up. So I'll do it like that. And then I'll make sure that the bee is still standing there. All right, now. And then you can put it in the water, both with the bee in front, and then you put it in the water. And then like what I did, it makes B and N. You can very, you can really see that B stand out because the B was the first paper towel, but then the N blends through, so it makes B and N prepared. Bye. Wow. I wish I had a helicopter to fly around. Does it have a camera on it? Maybe we can use it to get a higher view of the school. And Bridget, that is so cool. I love that we were able to see the BNN at the end. Maybe some more of you can try and do that experiment over break. Let me know what you decide to spell out. Well, since we saw some student experiments, let's turn to our resident weird scientist, Mrs. Gergitz. What does she have for us today? Here in my kitchen. I thought it would be fun to make
take a snowstorm in a jar. I wasn't sure if we would see a whole lot of snow or not this year, and I thought it would be fun to try and make our own snowstorm in a jar. If you wanna do this activity at home, here are some of the supplies that you'll need. You'll need a glass jar that's clear. You'll need some water, some white paint, some oil. I like to use baby oil because it's clear. You could use some vegetable oil from your kitchen, but you will end up with yellow snow and no one likes yellow snow. You will also need something called Alka-Seltzer, which you might have at home, easy to find. And I thought it would be fun to maybe add a little bit of glitter and see if we can make it a glittery winter wonderland snowstorm. So to get started, I've already mixed my oil and my water and my paint in my jar. When you do this at home, you'll notice that the water and the paint mix together fine and they will be at the bottom of the jar. When I add my oil into the jar, you're going to notice that the oil and the water do not mix. And there's a reason why this happens. The oil will stay at the top of the jar while the water will always go to the bottom. The reason that happens is because the water is more dense than the oil. So the oil will always stay floating at the top no matter how hard I try to get them to mix. And those water molecules um, are made up, the water is made up of molecules which is called H2O. And I know that many of you have heard me talk about that in my classroom. And it is known as a liquid. And the liquid water has hydrogen and oxygen that have polar ends and they always stick together. And that's why they mix perfectly fine. The oil is made up of a different kind of molecule and it doesn't have polar ends. That's why it does not mix nicely with water. So that's a little science behind why the oil and the water will not mix. The next thing we're going to do, now that I've let this sit for a while, it might take a few minutes to get the um, paint and the water and the oil to all be completely separated. I am going to use my Alka-Seltzer, which is a sodium bicarbonate. And when I add my solid Alka-Seltzer into my liquids, you're going to notice that a chemical reaction is going to occur. Do you remember making a hypothesis that's like a scientific guess of what is going to happen. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen when I put sodium bicarbonate into my liquid. I think that this is going to form a gas and the gas is going to create a bubble. The bubbles will float all the way up to the top, but because the density of the oil is at the top, it's going to force that bubble to go back down, which will hopefully give us a snowstorm effect. So let's see if this works. I'm going to take some of my pieces of my Alka-Seltzer and I'm going to crunch it up and drop it in. And let's see what happens when it starts going. Oh, look at that. I can see. So we can see that those bubbles that are filled with the white paint are floating through the clear oil and then floating back down. And that's giving us our snowstorm effect. I'm going to see what happens now if I add a little bit of silver glitter just to get a pretty effect. Let's see if it works. There you go, boys and girls. I hope you liked watching my snowstorm in a jar and have fun trying this at home. Bye. Thanks, Mrs. Gergitz. Hopefully we won't have too big of a snowstorm outside and it will stay nicely inside of our jars. We are almost out of time, but before we see who has a birthday this week, we have Avaya and Alex showing off some of their musical skills. And a one, and a two, and a you know what to do. Uh, hello, I'm Ava, and I'm playing my guitar for being there.
from the housetop. This is your birthday song, it isn't very long. Hey, so it's your birthday, so it's your birthday. Happy birthday to our guests. So it's your birthday, so it's your birthday. Oakwood wishes you the best. Hey, hey. Bravo, I want to give you a round of applause. Get it? A round. Well, this officially ends our first season of VNN. I hope you have enjoyed watching our show each week and that has given you a little sense of normal through this weird school year so far. So, I guess we'll have to have a happy holidays, a great break, and we'll see you next time on an episode of BNN. And as always, have a very good week.